So I first want to show you the side where you have the capability to take the key and lock this to the pole. Uh, you also on this side have the on off button. So I'm going to press that and turn on the pump. So one of the things I'm going to do before I begin is I'm going to go ahead and attach my cassette and this is for demonstration purposes only. It would normally have the medication uh, name on it and the barcode for you to scan, but I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So there's some little hooks right underneath there and you hook that and then you push up until you hear the click. I'm going to open that latch up. Okay, you hear the click and it says the latch is opened on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and push the latch up and I'm going to go ahead on the side and I'm going to lock it with the key. All right. So it's asking me, do I want to start a new patient? And I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, say yes. So it's asking me, is this, an, is this profile correct, an adult non-epidural? Well, depending on where you are, and they have other, other profiles, I'm going to hit no just to show you that there are other profiles that you can select. So you just would um, select whichever one you would want. You would highlight it. So I'm going to highlight adult non-epidural, and I'm going to select. Then it asks me to select the therapy that I want. So depending on where I, I am working, where I am starting this infusion, I would choose critical care, palliative care, or PCA standard. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to select PCA standard. So I've highlighted PCA standard um, with this middle key here, and I'm going to select it. So now it's saying my qualifier is a medical surgical adult patient. So I'm going to select. The next screen asks you to select your drug. So as you can see, there are three drugs listed here. I'm going to, with their standard concentration, I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, just select morphine. Of course, this, or, this um, drug would be in your order. Then I'm going to enter the code to allow me to set up the pump. So I'm going, the number here is the one, two, three. So I'm going to put one, and accept the value, two, accept the value, three, accept the value. Then again, it's asking me to make sure that I have selected the appropriate things. So I'm doing a double check, I've selected my drug, and of course that has come from my order, and I'm gonna answer yes. Now I'm gonna review my pump settings. So I'm gonna hit the button right under review, and it's going to allow me to, from my order, put in the correct um, dosages. So this is for patient-controlled analgesia, so I do not have a continuous rate, so I'm going to accept the value of zero, and when I accept it, it puts a check mark next to it. My PCA dose um, for the demonstration, I'm just going to select 0.5, so, but you can go up or down, it just depends on what it is. So if I selected that, it would allow me to change it. But I'm just going to save 0.5 milligrams. And then I'm going to accept the value. Then your lockout, that would be in your order as well. So I can give 0.5 milligrams of morphine every 10 minutes. So I'm going to accept that value. And then the hour limit is calculated. So they would, so the patient cannot give themselves um, more than what is dosed. So I'm going to accept that value. Your reservoir volume is showing up here in the right hand corner and it also is what is in your cassette and that would be on your label as well but it's usually 100 milliliters so I'm going to go ahead and accept that value and then press next to go to the next screen. Um, so one of the things is I've connected my tubing. I'm going to go ahead and prime it. So I'm going to hit yes and prime. And you would just watch the, watch the fluid go through until it comes out the other end of your tubing. And I would go ahead and stop it and say, no, I'm done uh, priming. 
So now I'm ready to start the pump. So I would go ahead and connect this to um, IV fluid running at a, probably a slow rate, like a KVO rate, um, and then attach it to the patient, double checking my order and making sure that the patient is ready to um, use it. The other thing I would do is instruct the patient on using the button, making sure that they know that this button is only for them to push, nobody else. So you wanna make sure you instruct them and educate them on using this device as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit yes to start the pump. So it's telling me I still have some air in the pump. So I'm gonna silence and acknowledge, and then I'm gonna to go to the task button. And I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to prime tubing and then hit prime again. When I think I have primed enough, I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to hit no. And I'm going to go to go right ahead and try to start it again. So let's cut it. So, yeah. So oh, I hit the um, start button and now you can see, you can see your reservoir volume that, the, that it's running and you see the little guy in the arrow running and you can see your battery life. Now I have it plugged in, um, it can run on battery so you can unplug it if um, you have to move the patient around. One last thing that I do want to show is the reports because you're going to have to, sh to document approximately every four hours about what has been given, the attempts, and what's been given. And of course here I just started it so there's no numbers there. But I would look at that every four hours, document that in my charting, and then I'm going to go ahead and clear it. And then I'm going to go back to my screen. And I'm going to go back again. There we go. And that's pretty much it on how to uh, start a PCA pump. Thank you.